Hey, what's up guys? I'm Monarts here, and today I have a very useful tutorial on how to create particles in Adobe After Effects. So let's quickly look at a preview of the effect we're going to be creating. So as we can, as you can see, we have these cool p particles slowly moving in the background. You probably recognize the effect from other intros or montages. It's very useful, and it actually you don't need any plugins to make it. We're just going to be using an effect called Particle World in Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. We're going to head into Adobe After Effects, Composition, New Composition, and just click OK. Make sure all your settings are good. I have it on 1920 by 1080. All right, and there we go. We got a new composition. So let's just add our layer for the particles. We're going to do New, Solid, click OK, and now we have our layer. So as I said a second ago, the effect we're going to be using is Particle World. So we're going to go to Effect, going to go down to Simulation, and you're just going to find Particle World. So just click on it, and now we have the effect, but as you can see, it starts out looking nothing like the particles in um, this intro, but that's okay. We're going to change that very quickly. So first off, let's go to Grid and Guides right here, and we're just going to uncheck Horizon, and grid and this is just gonna you know get rid of all that stuff so we can actually see the particles and now we're just gonna edit the particle so it actually looks how I want it to look so we're gonna go into the particle and for the particle type you have a lot of different options you know you have star um, motion polygon cube is pretty cool so you can use any of these for the effect but the one I used is faded sphere and I think this looks really good. Alright, so we got our little particles. They're looking a little bit more like we want. Now we can edit the birth color and the death color. Now the birth color is basically the color it starts out when the particles are being born or when they're like fading in. And the death color is the color they're going to turn right before they die or fade out. So let's make the birth color. I'm going to make it a lightish blue. You guys can do whatever you want. And for the death color, I'm just going to make it a darker blue. But it's up to you guys. You guys can use whatever colors you want. So now we got some cool looking particles. So we can edit the birth size, which is how big they start out when they're born, and the death size, which is how big they are right before they're about to die. I'm just going to keep those um, as they are because we're going to use other settings to make them look bigger. So just keep that how it is. You can change the opacity if you want, basically how faded in they are, but 75 is a pretty good value for that. So we're going to, I think we're done with this yet, we're going to close out the particle tab, and let's go to producer. So now we have a lot of values we can edit. Position X, position Y, position Z, radius X, radius Y, radius Z. So the position X, Y, and Z basically is just where the particles are, and it's that simple. Um, you can see the position Z, if you want them to be bigger, you can decrease that number so they're kind of closer to you. I'm going to make it negative 0.5, so it looks something like that, or maybe a little bit more, maybe negative 0.8. Looks good, but you can always come back and change these settings if you're not satisfied. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to keep the position Y and X as they are because we don't want to really edit that, but you can if you want. Now for the radius X, Y, and Z, this is just basically the radius that the particles cover. So we just want it to fit the sides of the screen. So you can just edit those, put it something like this. So you can see where those values change. So yeah, the particles look pretty cool as it is. Um, and we have two settings right here, the birth rate and the longevity. So the birth rate, basically how many particles there are. And I'm going to put that at a fairly n low number, something maybe one. It's pretty good. And the longevity is how long the particles last before dying. So you can put that however you want. I'm going to put it as full. Maybe I'm going to put it at something like 2. That looks pretty good. So we're going to close those two things. 
And now we're going to go to the physics, and this is about the last thing we're going to edit. So it's kind of hard to see because it's very zoomed in, but you might notice that the particles are kind of falling downwards. And in my intro, I don't have them falling downwards, I just have them moving towards the camera. And the reason they're falling downwards is because we have gravity on, which obviously makes things fall down and go closer to whatever the source is. Uh, but we're just going to put the gravity at zero, and this way they're just going to shoot towards us. And that's looking pretty good. The velocity, this is basically how spread out they are almost, or how close together they are. So you can even edit this if you want, if you want it to start close and then quickly spread out. But I'm going to put it at one. One looks pretty good. And actually, that's about it for the particles. You can always edit these values if you want them. If you want there to be less particles, you can decrease the birth rate. Maybe something like, let's try 0.4. That looks pretty good. But that's about it for the tutorial. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you liked the video. That motivates me to make more tutorials like this. And if you want to request a tutorial or you're confused, you have a question about it, feel free to comment in the comment section below. Alright, thanks for watching, guys.